What is good everyone? This is Kuzu Ranger coming at you from Japan. Now today I want to do a little mini review of a game called Payday 2, which is an older game for the PS3 and free if you're a PS Plus subscriber. So I wanted to go over this game for a couple of reasons. Now the first one, as you know with many other PS4 games, and in fact PS3 games, is they are being brought over to the next gen. They are being re-updated, they are being graphically enhanced, they are getting you know, bonus features that they may not have had or special uh, DLC content. Now look, wait, 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 look how bad the graphics are when that girl's crossing the street. Horrible, horrible. So this is the type of thing where I'm sure in the PS4 everything is going to look beautiful. Now this game doesn't look bad graphically as it is, but just some of those renderings, some of those frame rates, I don't know what it is, but they just look terrible. And um, this is the type of thing that would look very, very good on a PS4. And in fact, you know, a game like this would probably benefit from being um, brought to the PS4 more than other games like, let's say, GTA 5. GTA 5 is already a beautiful game, and it was made very, very late in the PS3 uh, life cycle. So. Um, I would probably guess that a game like this would you, you'd see more noticeable difference. Not that this is a better game than GTA 5, but that you'd see more of a uh, an upgrade. So that's basically the first reason for bringing this game uh, into the current topic. And the second reason is well, I, I don't, you know, I don't think I'm going to get Battlefield Hardline. I just, I mean, that, that deserves its own review in its own right, but. I'm just not wowed by it. I think it's a fine game. Uh, I don't really have anything bad to say about it. The thing is, I don't really have anything good to say about it. I'm not. I'm not jumping over, jumping over myself saying how good that game is. It 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 felt like a DLC for Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, which is not a bad thing if if that's what you want. If you just want to continue with that experience, it just seems like it's it's a complete. And, and utter, you know, copy, carbon copy of those games. Not graphically, it's a little different graphically, but as as far as the gameplay, as far as the core mechanics, I mean, everything, every little sound and every little color of your team, every icon, um, every little notification, you know, even when you go out of bounds and stuff, it's all exactly the same as in Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4. And, and I guess I'm, I'm not interested in that right now. I've, you know, Battlefield 4 has kind of left a slight bad taste in my mouth and um, I want to get away from it I guess. They they are improving it and I, I'm not going against dice. I'm not saying I'm never going to buy a game from them again. Obviously I'm, I'm very looking forward to uh, Star Wars Battlefront. You know, we'll see how that turns out. I mean, hopefully it's a little bit more open world and not just um, cluster fucking, but we'll see. Anyways, um, so Payday 2, it, it, it kind of fills that void. It's it's cops and robbers. It's exactly like what uh, Hardline is doing. And these guys did it first, you know. And I think this concept is good. In fact, I really do like the feel of this game. Um, I told my buddies when I was playing this later with them. Uh, by the way, I've only played this for one night. So I, I really don't have that much experience. And, and if I suck, well, yeah, I do suck. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. This is probably the second game I've played on it. So like I told them... This game feels like you're in that um, section of the movie Heat when they're in the bank, you know, they're, they're robbing the bank and it's like a, a 20 minute or 30 minute just action scene, you know. They're going into the, the bank and they, they get the money and they come out and they think everything's fine and then it's, the cops start taking them and then they have that whole shootout in the street. Even the music to this, this game, to Payday 2, feels like you're in that moment of Heat, which is really good. I mean, when I saw Heat for the first time, that was the fucking bomb. That was the fucking movie. That was like the shit. I mean, there was no other action scene like that up to that point. So, I mean, I still remember moments like that, and, and that was a good movie for me. So this game does have a good vibe to it. Um, it is only co-op, though, basically. It's not online in the sense of you're, you're not playing against other online players. You're not playing against other humans. You can work together with up to three guys. So here's a four-man team that we have. I don't know these guys at all, they just randomly joined, and it was relatively quick. So I think they did you know, a good job with that. Um, if you like co-op, 
it's definitely a fun game. And the problem though is if you don't have anyone to play with, if you're just playing randomly, well, like here, one of these guys was a complete noob, even worse than I was, and we had to tell him, you know, come on, we finished the game. He didn't know what to do. And if people don't have mics, if people don't communicate, it gets frustrating. And at the same time, if people aren't joining you and you're just playing with AI, it's it's even less fun, I think. It's even more isolating, it's even more boring, I think. Just because you're not interacting with anyone, it's just a single player game, basically, and, and they're just AI assistants, so... I mean, the, the, the same rule applies to basically any game out there, but if you're playing with friends, I think this game can be a lot of fun. If you're not, I, I don't think I would ever really buy this game, you know. You know, after, you know, after this game releases after a few months, let's say on PS4, um, I don't think many of my friends are going to be playing it just because there's other games out there that um, offer more depth, that, you know, have bigger open worlds, that have fuller multiplayer modes. And I just don't think that this game is quite up to that standard. And I think it's a lot of fun. I think it can be a lot of fun. I think if you're playing with friends and you're each doing your job and you're, you know, going after the objective and you're working together, I think this game is a hell of a lot of fun. But that that's a huge caveat. If you have those players to play with, it's fun. If you don't, I don't think it quite holds up to the caliber of other games out there. Let's say like GTA V or, you know, Far Cry or you know, div upcoming Division or, you know, games like that, I think can offer a little bit more than this. But this is a fun game, and I am looking forward to seeing how it plays on the PS4. So when that does come out, um, I hope to check into it and see how it goes. But for now, this has been a quick review. Thanks for watching, guys. Kuzu Ranger cutting out. Peace.